Okay, Declan, we have a multiplication time test that shouldn't be flipped over yet, but it was anyway. And it's got these as the first couple problems, so grab that one. And, and you got two minutes. You can either do it with us or on your own. All right, so everybody relax. Have your thumb under the corner. And circle any that you didn't get to. Circle any you didn't get to. Brody, you got them all circled if you didn't get to them? Okay, that's the one thing I asked. Alright. Remember to make sure you're checking the ones you did. Just don't think to yourself, oh, I did them right. Okay, because the whole idea is if you did them wrong, you need to know so you can switch your brain to the right answers. All right, here we go. Number one, eight times two is 16. Number two, nine times three is 27. Number three, three times seven is 21. Number four, nine times two is 18. Number five, five times two is 10. Number six, four times three is 12. Number seven, two times six is 12. Number eight, two times five is 10. Number nine, two times four is eight. Number 10, 9 times 3 is 27. Number 11, and eight, 3 times 8 is 24. Number 12, 3 times 6 is 18. Number 13, 2 times 2 is 4. Number 14, 8 times 3 is 24. Number 15, 2 times 6 is 12. Number 16, 2 times 2 is 4. Number 17, 3 times 6 is 18. Number 18, 3 times 8 is 24. Number 19, 3 times 5 is 15. Number 20, 3 times 6 is 18. Number 21, 3 times 7 is 21. Number 22, 2 times 4 is 8. Number 23, 6 times 2 is 12. Number 24, 2 times 9 is 18. Number 25, 3 times 9 is 27. Number 26, 3 times 8 is 24. Number 27, 7 times 2 is 14. Number 28, 3 times 9 is 27. Number 29, uh, 2 times 4 is 8. And number 30, 2 times 3 is 6. All right, go through and fix any that you had wrong or do the ones you didn't get to. And then you put it in your assignment folder if you're done. Yep. I don't know. Just gotta, you just got to keep up, right? So I'm going, 8 times 
2 is 16. Number 2, 9 times 3 is 27. Number 3, 3 times 7 is 21. Is that too fast? I don't think it's that fast. You have to stick with it. If you work around, you're going to go on. Once you have things done, you put that away and have your match work out. If you, I'll give you another minute to, to go through on the new something that you can get to. Today we're going to talk again about kind of being organized when we're trying to figure things out. All right? And the better we're organized, the easier it is to make sure that we have the correct answer. So this is going to be again kind of about organization. Can somebody read this first sentence though? It's on the top of the page. Have somebody read that for us. Uh, Taya, Calvin, go ahead. When you make a combination, you make a new soul that has one and one soul that has one soul that has one soul that has one soul Okay, so when you make a combination, you're making a set that has one item from each group of items. So basically, here's what it means. Yesterday, we talked about like wearing shorts and shirts. Those were the two groups, right? And so every time you got one of those items from each group, that was a combination, all right? So find the word combination in your math dictionary, and we are going to write in there, I can find the page quickly, okay. What I'm going to have you write is, let me make it bigger for you. All right, this one over here, I'm going to circle it for you. Write this as the definition. A new set that has one item from 
each group of items. So I'm going to put that in as the definition for a combination. A new set that has one item and each group of items. specific picture for that because it already has a picture on your actual sheet that you glued in okay. of what a combination is and it's kind of like what we did yesterday right where you have choices and when you pick one of each choice that's a combination all right okay let's see what we're going to do you got now Brody Okay, so let's see what they're going to do in this example, all right? Because we're going to have it a little bit differently than what we had yesterday, okay? Yesterday worked one way. This is going to work a slightly different way, all right? Can somebody read about Amos's team? Let's have Brody, go ahead. Amos's team has three jersey colors, red, white, no, sorry, green, red, and yellow. They can wear orange or black shorts. Find all of the jerseys um, and shorts. Okay. So, we know. No, that no. I, I didn't read all of them. Oh, we know. And sh short combinations for the team. Okay. So, when we look at this, we know that they have these different colors, right? Grab your color pencils or crayons, whatever's easiest to grab. I don't think I'm going to have all these colors, but I'll try my best. Okay, this says color the first jersey green, the second jersey red, and the last one yellow. So I'm going to color the first jersey green. So we know that that's green. The next one, color it red. And the last one, color it yellow. I don't have yellow. So I'm gonna try to just kind of make this orange seem yellow-ish by not pushing very hard. Eh. Plus yellow markers for whiteboards are really hard to see. Do they make it? They actually do, but they're just really hard to see when it's on that white. All right? Okay, the next thing says, color one pair of shorts orange and one pair of shorts black below each jersey. So that means that as I go under each jersey, one of these I'm going to make orange, and one of them I'm going to make black.
Now, the idea is we're going to try to figure out all the different possible combinations that they can come up with for shirts and shorts. So this is working a lot like it did yesterday, isn't it? Okay, except they're doing it a little bit differently. This one's going to be more of an organized list. So look what they're writing down below. If we take our green jersey, we could wear the orange shorts with it. Okay? Do me a favor. Make a line from the green jersey to the orange shorts. That's one combination, isn't it? Green jersey, orange shorts. We can also do the green jersey and the black shorts. So make a line from the green jersey to the black shorts. By the way, every year, maybe nobody's going to say anything this year, but sometimes I have people who go, a green shirt with orange pants would look awful. Yeah. Yeah. We're not worried about style here. We're just worried about combinations. It would make okay. Look like so don't worry about the style and what it looks like. Look like just going to worry about the combinations. With your hand up, Bethany, go ahead. It might, because you have this. Well, you got the stem on top. I stem like like pumpkin. Pumpkin. reverse. Well, why pumpkin. reverse? Wouldn't the stem be on the bottom? Well, I mean, like, there should be more orange than. Oh, I see what you're saying. So a big stem pumpkin. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Or True, because the Irish flag does have green and orange on it, but white in the middle. So, all right. So, those are two of the combinations. Now we're going to move on to the red jersey, and we have the same two short options, right? We've got red with orange, and red with, well, what do I need to write in the blank there? Black. Black. So let's add black down here. And then I can make my line showing, oh, those are my combinations. What am I going to put in box number five? What am I going to put there? Um, yellow. Okay, I'm going to put yellow because yellow is my next jersey. And they already did the yellow with the orange shorts. So now, well, first of all, what am I going to put number-wise in this box? They didn't number it because they didn't know how many combinations they were going to have. So they couldn't put all the numbers yet. They just kept adding on. So what do I put in there? Jordan? Okay, there's a six in there. What am I going to do for my jersey color? What should I do, Courtney? Yellow. Yellow. And what is the last one for the shorts? Seven eight. Black. Okay. Now, this is kind of like yesterday. Hopefully you're looking at this and going, this is not that terribly difficult. Right? But it was important that we made an organized list. I didn't want to just start going, well, let's try green and black, and we can do yellow and orange, and maybe red and black, and maybe yellow, and because you start forgetting what combination you did. We're writing them down, and we did it very organized, didn't we? We started with the green jersey, and I did all of my green combinations. I moved on to my red jersey, and I did all my red combinations. And then we moved on to the yellow jersey, and did all the yellow combinations. Lily? Um, I have the numbers one, two, three is missing. Oh, it is. Sorry. I was going to say You can that. add that in there. I didn't know you'll notice when he's back. Yes. OK. So how many different combinations of jerseys and shorts can they actually do, Liam? Twelve? Mm, well, it's a little different from yesterday. Because now we're talking about the combination. Uh, so four? Well, let me show you. Four on each row. This is one combination. Green jersey, yeah. orange shorts. Yeah. Hang on. Pause for a second and just think, okay? Because you're throwing numbers at me now and hoping one of them sticks. Here's one combination, green and orange. 
How many different combinations did we come up with? There you go. We had six total different combinations they could do based on the fact they have three different jerseys and two different kinds of shorts. Okay? All right. Then I want you to look at the bottom because it says write a multiplication sentence. Well, the first I got to move down. All right. This says, what number do we put in for how many jersey colors there are? Well, what number goes in there? Um, three. How many jerseys? Three. Jerseys is what you're on top. Did you say three or? Okay, but jerseys, not shorts. Oh, I'm sorry, you're right. <laughs> sorry. Jordan's going to teach the rest of the class. Yeah, yeah. All right, no. three different jerseys. How many different short comment choices are there? Two. two, three times two is going to be an unknown, which I hope isn't extremely unknown to you if you need six, because that's a very easy multiplication, right? Yeah. All right. So there's going to be six different combination possibilities. Now, remember yesterday we said, hey, we were making an array yesterday, and if I multiply how many rows times how many columns we ended up making, I'm going to have my answer, right? Okay. So that's something that you're kind of doing here too. You're saying, well, if I have three of one thing and two of another, how many combinations? We can make it, all right? Okay, go to the next page. We're gonna look at another way to do an organized list. And it's called a tree diagram. And when you look at it, you're probably gonna realize why it's called a tree diagram. Why is it called a tree diagram? What do you think? Can I put this in the yeah, she may. Why do you think this might be called a tree diagram? I'll give you a hint. If you stood it up, it might seem more like a tree diagram. They're like the lines are like the roots. Okay, yeah. Then you've got one main thing and then it branches off like branches. Okay? So that's why they call it a tree diagram. Go ahead and get your dictionary and find tree diagram in there. And right in. This. A diagram of all possible outcomes of an event or a series of events or experiments. Go ahead and write that in. Yes? Oh, is that the one we couldn't get over?
writing that? All right. 
right, now pay attention because some people get really, really confused on this. See how there's dark blue lines and there's light blue lines? The dark blue lines are basically your guide. It's the direction you're going. The light blue is where you're going to write something in. All right? So this one, we can pick mango and berries. So they wrote mango berries. On this one, mango and peach. So what's missing is the mango part. All right? On your own, fill the same thing in for strawberry and vanilla. Now, the vanilla has nothing for the combinations, right? All right? So fill those in so you have a nice organized list of all of your combinations. Yes? Well, we did mango. Bananas. So our combination is mango banana. We did mango and all the berries on that. So our combination is mango and berries. So here, the strawberry, you can put banana on it, so your combination is strawberry and banana. Yep. the idea that we're learning how to stay organized. There's lots of ways to be organized. This is just one of them. And yes. What do I do in the rest of the Well, same thing. Strawberry. There you go. There you go. Oh, strawberry. We're well, adding berries. So our combination is Strawberry. Berries. Okay, what are we Mango, and I added banana. So our combination is mango banana. We start with mango, and I added berries. So my combination is mango berries. Start with mango, added peach. So my combination is mango peach. And then you're starting with strawberry. Strawberry. You're adding berries to your combination. And berries. What happens with strawberry? Well, strawberry. 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 And then berries. Yeah. There you go. When we moved on to the strawberry sorbet, I'm going to put bananas as my fruit topping. So I would have strawberry banana as my combination. If I started with the strawberry sorbet, I could also, though, choose berries. So then I would have strawberry berries. If I start with my strawberry sorbet, there's one other fruit choice, and that's peach. So that would end up as a combination of strawberry, peach. The last one they didn't do anything for, but hopefully by this time you're like, oh, this isn't that hard. We're starting with vanilla every time, and we add the same three. So vanilla sorbet with banana, 
would be vanilla banana. Vanilla with the berries would be vanilla berries. And vanilla with the peach would be vanilla peach. All right. Yes. Well, there's a strawberry, but then just different kinds of berries. Oh, I don't. And, um, I don't own the sorbet store. Um, peach or like I have like like um like right there. Um, this? Like no peach. Go down. The vanilla peach, and you go all across that to down. Oh. Sorry. All right. Okay, so that's how a tree diagram is going to work. It's just another form of being organized. All right? Now, remember, though, we're talking about how multiplication can also help us. So if you go to the part that says check, we can say the number of flavors, which there were three different flavors, times the number of fruits would give us the number of fruit sorbet combinations. What's three times three? Nine. Nine. And if you go down the edge and you counted all the different combinations, you should have gotten nine different combinations, right? Okay. Three for the um, mango, three for the strawberry, and three for the vanilla. So you end up with nine. So the organized list is good, but you can also multiply to find the answers. Yes? what we're going to do, because if you sit for like one more second, guess what I'm going to tell you? What we're going to do. <laughs> All right. Skip the bottom question and go over to the next page. And I want you to look at the question number three. Because this one has some math words in it that are going to make us think a little bit. Can somebody read the question for number three? What does it say? Zoe, go ahead. do this. Well, first of all, what does it mean by a two-digit number? What is a two-digit number? You can just give me an example if you want. What is it, Bethany? 50. What one? 50. Okay, 50 is a two-digit number, right? It's got a five and a zero. The five is in the tens place, zero is in the ones place. Well, in this case, though, they're being particular. You have to have a three or a four in the tens place. And for the ones place, you can only have one, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now, I could do this. I could go, well, I could make 31, I could make 48, I could make 39, I could make 46, I could make 36, I could make 38, I could make 40. Who says I'm already getting confused as to which ones you've already used? Yeah, this is a very unorganized way of doing it. And for me, to, could I maybe get this done correctly? I could, but I would have to keep going up to look to see, did I use it yet? Right? And I don't really have to do that. I'm going to just make an organized list. I also like this one because making numbers is going to be way easier in your tree size. Tens digits. What are my two numbers we can use in the tens digit? Liam? 58. Now, what are the two different numbers that could be in the tens digit? Well, that's one of my possible things. But do we want to just make random numbers over here? Okay, then here's what I'm going to do. What is one possible number that I could put 
in the tens place? Um, ten? No. Come on, somebody help out. Preferably not the tap dancers. Um, four. Okay, four is one of my numbers. What's the other number that the problem says that I can put as a tens digit? Three. Okay, my three. I can use a three or four in the tens place. What are my digits I can use in the ones place? What can I use in the ones place? Calvin? One. Okay, give me all. One, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I'm going to put those in those blanks. And I'll do the same thing for the three. One, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, I'm going to be able to make my list in a very organized way, and I'm not going to skip any of them. Can somebody tell me what's going to go in this blank? Four in the tens place, one in the ones place will be, Brody? 41. 41. Go ahead, fill in all of the two-digit numbers that we could end up making. That over and over, like, it's confusing. They should have made one of the lines not move. Put in all the different combinations. If you, you look confused, raise your hand if you want to be unconfused. So, you can make 41. Yeah. I did this one because we didn't have the right words. But it's still a tree diagram. Now, I'm hoping you guys are way ahead of me. But you're also getting these same answers. Yeah. All right. I'm not ahead. If I wanted to know how many total numbers that I could end up with, I could do a multiplication problem. I could multiply how many numbers I have that could be tens. How many is that? There's two of those. And Courtney's going to raise your hand. And how many different numbers are there that I put in the ones place? How many go in the ones place? Nine. How many? Nine. Eight. Count them for me. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, five. five. It goes up to nine, but look, they skipped a the bunch. Yeah. Okay. So, five. You just say five. What's that one? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. If I do two times five, we should have ended up with ten different numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We did. So multiplying will tell us how many numbers there will be, but I might have to do a tree diagram if I need to list all of the different numbers. And I want to be organized and not miss any. Yes? Well, but what if I said, list all of the numbers that you could make? Oh. Now you would do it organized so you don't skip one. But if it just asks you how many combinations, then do that. No. Okay, but no. sometimes you have to actually list all the combinations for things, so you just need to be organized. All right? And honestly, a lot of this is just thinking about how can I organize my brain when I do things? Okay? All right, for your assignment, go over to page number 229 is. The very top of the page, it looks like that with the dogs. That's just an example reminding you what we did. Underneath it, it's going to do a whole tree diagram thing like we just did. Read the problem, fill in the tree diagram correctly and then go on from there. Please remember, see this blue line here, and this blue line, and this blue line, and this blue line? Those are not places where you're writing stuff. These are just the, to get you over here. Things. The only place you have to write things in is down here, over here, and these two, okay? All right, on the next page. 
It's another tree diagram, but they don't give you anything. You have to put it all in there by yourself. Okay, so read it carefully to do that. And then do the multiplication for that. Then, hopefully this will be very simple, the vocabulary for this. And then there is one word problem that you're gonna have a, a multiple choice. Okay? Alright, you got time right now? You got a good eight minutes before we go to recess? Yes. How long did you read the problem? It says pencil colors, yellow and something else, right? Let's see what color pencil colors have. Okay. There you Hopefully you got that done.